I basically used crack for like about, um, about 17 years. It cost me my career, it cost me my family. I would probably be one of those people you would never suspect that, that would succumb to a, a drug addiction. Came from a middle class family. I'm the oldest of four kids. All four of us are college educated. Got married in 1977. Have three beautiful grown adult children now. I got divorced in 1991, and it was due to my own drug addiction. I evolved down to the, to the street level. And when, you, when your money's gone, that's basically where you're at. One year, I lived completely on the street. This is a 22 long bullet that I still have in the back of my eye right here that I have no, no sight on in the back of my eye and bullet fragments all in my skull. And I, I got this from some young kids in a place where I wasn't supposed to be. About six years ago, I gravitated back to the neighborhood where, where my ex-wife and my kids were living. And I was sitting on a park bench. Then I looked up and there was my adult son walking his dog. And he said, Dad, what's going on with you? I'm sitting out here, I, had, I probably had the same clothes on for three or four days, had no money in my pocket. I said, well, hey, I have nowhere to go. My son gave me 13 bucks and took me to the subway station and said like, hey, you need to get out of here. And that's when I got tired of being sick and tired. Coming through the program of Volunteers of America, they gave me my self-esteem and my pride back. But the biggest thing that it offers anybody that comes through those doors out there is hope. Hope that, hey, that you can get your life back together. These people will go 200, you know, up to 200 yards for you here. And they provide you with counseling for drug and alcohol, show you how to make a budget, help you get a place to stay, show you how to help you maintain a job. That's what I call family, where you might not have your biological family, your mother, your father, sisters, and brothers. They fill the void here. You can come out here standing up when you came in here crawling. From where I was at to where I'm at now, it's a, it's a complete circle. We need organizations like Volunteers of America. And I think um, it's, it's a God blessing that, that we have it. I would hate to see what had happened if I hadn't had the opportunity to come in a place like that. This place afforded me to get back on my feet and to give my life some hope again.